Hipparchus was born around 190 BCE in Nicaea, Bithynia, a region known for its intellectual influence in ancient Greece. Hipparchus spent much of his career observing the skies on the island of Rhodes, where he made groundbreaking astronomical discoveries. Between 147 and 127 BCE, Hipparchus dedicated himself to cataloging stars, creating the first known comprehensive star catalogue. Hipparchus documented nearly 850 stars, organizing them by brightness using a system that later evolved into stellar magnitudes. Hipparchus estimated the distances of stars based on their brightness and relative positioning in the night sky. Hipparchus discovered the phenomenon of equinox precession, observing a gradual shift in the positions of stars over time. Hipparchus estimated that the Earth's axis tilted in relation to the celestial sphere, leading to the concept of axial precession. Using geometric calculations, Hipparchus measured the length of the solar year with remarkable accuracy for his time. Hipparchus calculated the duration of the lunar month and developed tables to predict eclipses. Hipparchus used trigonometry to approximate the sizes and distances of the sun and moon relative to Earth. Hipparchus compiled lunar and solar tables that served as tools for predicting future lunar and solar eclipses. Hipparchus invented the use of latitude and longitude for locating positions on Earth, an innovation that advanced geographical mapping. Hipparchus used mathematical models to map the celestial sphere, laying groundwork for celestial coordinate systems. Hipparchus is credited with pioneering trigonometry, creating a table of chords that became foundational for later calculations. The table of chords developed by Hipparchus enabled ancient astronomers to calculate angles in circles, essential for astronomy. Hipparchus' observational techniques included systematic tracking of planets, stars, and celestial events over long periods. Hipparchus documented the position of the moon at various points in its orbit, refining the concept of lunar anomalies. In his studies of the moon, Hipparchus theorized an eccentric orbit, showing early understanding of elliptical orbits. Hipparchus accurately measured the length of a sidereal year, contributing to later developments in calendar systems. Hipparchus compared his star catalogue with records from Babylonian astronomers to understand historical celestial changes. Hipparchus used Babylonian eclipse data to verify his lunar and solar calculations, integrating foreign data into Greek astronomy. The Ptolemaic model of the universe later incorporated elements from Hipparchus, observations and calculations. Ptolemy, centuries later, relied on Hipparchus' star catalogue and data, citing him as an essential source in the Almagest. Hipparchus's work inspired later astronomers like Ptolemy to refine and build upon his astronomical models. Hipparchus likely influenced ancient Egyptian and Persian astronomy through the preservation and translation of his texts. The work of Hipparchus bridged Greek and Mesopotamian astronomy, contributing to the spread of astronomical knowledge. During his life, Hipparchus observed and recorded a new star, possibly one of the earliest documented nova observations. The star catalogue of Hipparchus was among the first attempts to systematically document celestial objects, inspiring future astronomers. Hipparchus's contributions to trigonometry allowed astronomers to advance calculations related to the movement of celestial bodies. Though his original manuscripts are lost, the impact of Hipparchus endures through the references of later astronomers and scholars. A crater on the moon named Hipparchus honors his contributions to astronomy and the science of celestial mapping.